Hi, in previous video we have uh, created our layout, then we have styled our wrappers and container and uh, columns. Now we will just go deeper and edit the rest of the elements. So, let's start with the menu here. As you see, when I come into come onto my menu, it just drops fine, but the background color of menu is not uh, different from my background color of my slideshow, which makes it uh, hard to uh, see the difference about the menu and the uh, background of the slideshow. So I'm coming to my now setting screen and I'm clicking to edit CSS button for this particular layout. Now I'm in my uh, big CSS editing screen and uh, you can just uh, come to the screen uh, via edit CSS button next to layout name in layout settings screen also. In the screen at very top you will see our elements and just below it you will see copy CSS from another layout. You can just uh, copy the CSS of uh, any layout you have created the full layout, but right at the moment I'll not do that. So, I as I told, I'll just want some different background color for my menu. I'm clicking to horizontal mega menu here, and it will give me uh, choices here. There is a big form about it, so I'll just click top level hover and sub items background I'll just select a very pale blue for it and then I just click save and let's see the outcome after our CSS editor is done I'm just refreshing my page now I'm coming over my menu Okay, I have a nice blue drop-down menu here. Now, let's change the fonts. I'm again coming to my horizontal mega menu here. And as you can see, we have all elements listed here. And you can change their font family by simply selecting any font you want. So, I'm just going to select Arial font for my uh, top level links. As you can see, first of all, we have some coupon fonts and font face fonts and Google fonts. Those are the enabled fonts through our font library. Uh, there is a video about our font library also in YouTube channel. So I strongly recommend you watching this video about uh, seeing how to enable and disable fonts. So, let's select our font as Arial. And as Arial is a wide uh, and big font, I'll just drop my font size and line height. And I click Save Changes again. Again, CSS Editor does its job, creates my CSS, saves it. And here you go, we have our drop-down menu top-level items in different color. I can easily go to horizontal mega menu and I can set hover colors for items also, also the background colors for other parts, also I can set the margins. Okay, let's go very top and here is our logo, for example, again. It's in orange. I can change its color to a strong red and save it. Refreshing my CSS. And here you go. We have our logo in red. Let's come to our post elements. It's using the basic fonts and colors for in general, it's using Trichaba. Let's change it to a font from Google Library, let's say 
Yelena Kathy says, as it's easy to distinguish between. Click Save. Coming back to my site. OK. Font is changed. It's hard to read this font. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm giving it as a size of 16 and line height of 20. I'm saving it. Refreshing my page. Okay, it's better. Now I'm scrolling down. Now I have my post elements. For post elements, I can have anything styled. As you can see, archive page title properties here, then post container, then again post title, and then meta, all backgrounds, all borders, all background images are editable here. So for my entry title here, I'm using Yanami Cafe Sets. I'll just change my entry title font to a coupon font, which is like Gothic, and click Save Changes. And refresh my page after everything is done. And font is changed. It's only Gothic. Nice. Okay, let's go deeper and change those titles, colors in red. It's in the general part again. It's H3 titles. Let's have a pinkish red for them. Just save it. Refresh your page. And all widget titles are in pinkish red. Actually, it's not pinkish red, but pink. Now, I can change other items in my layout. Right at the moment, in this layout, I don't have any more items. So, let's make a difference about the title. I'm scrolling down to my post elements and let's come to post title part. So I'm just going to give a background to my post title which is a blue. And then I'll select top and bottom borders for my post title and Select my post title border color as some orange and click save. Now I'm refreshing my page again. Okay, it looks nice, but this post title is too much on the left, so it needs some padding from left, coming back to my post elements and finding my post title padding left. Let's give it a 5 pixels of padding, click save changes and refresh our page. Okay, meanwhile I think you are aware that our borders are not working. It's because we didn't select any border styles. I'm selecting border styles solid. Click and save changes. Refresh my page. Okay, the borders are here. As you can see, we have covered all the elements in CSS editor screen. You can change anything in any way you want. You can set as many background images as you want. You can set colors, you can set background colors, you can set fonts. The options are simply unlimited in Ultimatum. 
I hope you found this video uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching us. Have a nice day.